I'm telling you, it wasn't my fault. The next morning, Mom lowered the boom and took Pops's keys. It's not one of your kids, Bev. You can't boss me around. I do the bossing. Dad, I'm just trying to help you. Your mind is not what it used to be. As always, the neighbors came out to watch. Oh, hello, Gina. Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. For the record, Gina, that's my mom's best friend. Uh, can I go now? I've got a date with Shirley Nagel. She's got 12 grandkids. So you know she puts out. Cut the crap, Albert. Okay, cut it. It's all life. You lose your keys, very get some keys. It's the circle of driving. It looks like I better get on home and take this all in. Can I have the keys? No! You're out of my will. You're out of my will. That's right. We'll see who croaks first. Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean I can drive? No! Yes. What? Yeah, hun, I said Barry was not ready and you agreed. In my defense, I wasn't listening. Whenever my dad disagreed with my mom, this would happen five minutes later. Who watches Adam sleep in case his asthma kicks in? Me. She'd guilt him into submission. Who bought the family a new hamster because you sat on Herbie? Me. But not this time. See, my dad always had a soft spot for Barry, so he decided to help the kid. And do all the dirty work that you don't want to do. Bevy, you live for those things. And now that the kids are growing older, your whole world is falling apart. My world is fine, thank you very much. Okay, if you got no problem letting go, then I'm gonna take Barry for a driving lesson. Oh, you two stuck in the same car together? That'll go well. Good luck not flipping out. I don't need luck. I'm gonna teach him good. I'm gonna parent the shit out of him. Barry, daddy's gonna teach you how to drive. Seriously? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Baby's driving. Unreal. Uh -huh. I raised the moron. My dad was determined to do the impossible. 